Hey, welcome back to the Let's Play, everybody. This is Dallas here. We're here on episode 504 of our survival Let's Play. Just checking up on the sewer. I am trying to determine what I want to change in here. Uh, as you can see, I'm pushing back this wall. We're making this place much bigger. But today, oh today, today is all about details. I got this huge inspiration to just work on a bunch of little things in my world. And that is exactly what we are doing today. Can I make this? <laughs> now I don't have a way out of here. Yes, I do. This ugly ladder system that we're probably going to change too. Oh, the cumulus clouds are still sticking around. I like it. I don't know where this inspiration came from. All I know is I'm happy it's here, so uh, let's get to work. First things first is these wheat fields I have over here. Um, this one is very randomly placed. I have no idea why I decided to put it next to the mansion. <laughs> but as you can see, it's incomplete right here because we had to build these docks. And they're not that good looking. I put double tall grass every so often in them, but I want to put in some other stuff. I think leaf blocks would probably look good. So let's get this fixed up. There we are. Doesn't look 100% better, but there's now a display of leaves. And dotting leaves throughout this, I think, just kind of breaks it up a little bit. Looks a little better. One lacking build in the lab is simply the builds on the outside. As you know, we built this not too long ago to make it look better. Also spiced up the door with some pipes. I also put this fence around. But this is all in front of the laboratory. How about... Huh. Uh, not having elytra wings kind of sucks. But how about we start building things on the outside of the lab back here? But I have this idea. I don't want to build it all perfect at first. I kind of want to make a construction site. So let's say we build a building back here but uh, we make a few cranes around it scaffolding because this building won't really have a purpose it'll just be for looks but i want it to look like we're constantly working on this place just where do i put it huh you know what since this place is just i guess never going to be finished i love this design of this brick right here i planned on having another building just like this right here with another smokestack but i feel like that'll get in the way do I want to build a crane? I want to build a crane and make it look like it's hoisting up a big piece of brick. But also, I'd love to build some forklifts around here and other things like scaffolding on the side of this, make it look like we're working on the windows. I think this would be pretty cool. Let's try it out. We're out here developing new equipment. And I built a crane. Um, this is the... <laughs> I spent so much time on this. These things are really hard to make. Seriously, very hard. I didn't know that until now. But now that I built it, this is the smallest I can get it to. Like, you know, big cranes. Just looking at it, I don't feel like it'll fit the vibe around there too much. This is a very modern crane. And I have more of an industrial revolution looking town. So, here's a little forklift. I might implement this. Okay, so first order of business. Here's my furnaces. Thought I lost them. We need stone. Lots of it. You know what sucks? All of my stone in my world is gone i've used it all just recent projects and builds and all that just really wiped me out which means i'm going to need to make my new work pick silk touch i have the minesweeper but it's just not fast enough to clear out stuff it's efficiency three and i don't really want to change it because it's such an old pick so we must revert back to the old ways and smelt cobble i love the way this place looks in here Ugh. but we are working on the factory believe it or not um but not in the way you may think of we are going to make this place look like it is under construction because, well, andesite missing there. It's been under construction forever. So as you can see, I'm starting to design some scaffolding here, and I really like this. No, I'm not going to use scaffolding to make scaffolding. I'm going to make my scaffolding look nice. But I added some in to make me get up there. So make it look like we're working on that. I'm going to put some around this thing too because God knows it needs it. We need to climb up and get rid of all these random blocks I threw in that doesn't look good. And as well get rid of all this grass because i want this all to be stone stone and like coarse dirt let's see what i can do what are you doing here this is private viewing only ah you're here why not i'll show you around this is a uh, part of the multiverse project this is my world in another time I like the robots here better. I prefer these over the iron golems. Observers, too. Very mechanical looking. I love that. Ooh, I like the looms. Iron blocks are fantastic. 
if you ask me. That is the perfect looking metal block. Wow, server room looks way more cool. Look at the crafting table. Those look like better spacesuits to me. Whoa. What was that? Are there bugs? Oh, wow. Yeah, that looks so much better. We have, finally, a foundation. I made it all curvy. I just kind of followed the pattern of the land here, which I think looks good. I pulled back this land quite a bit, but um, yeah, I just placed a lot of stone down, throwing in all this coarse dirt and grass details. I think that looks really good. It makes it almost look kind of unkept, like it's not a priority, but uh, yeah, this is making this place look so much better. I even have it coming around here. Yeah, not too bad. I might want to change up this staircase some, or maybe not. It's so old, I might just keep it here. I built some more scaffolding. I'm actually going to use this because we're about to hop up there and finish that roof, which is surprising. Um, I also converted my little storage container over here to a little work trailer. So this is where I can store all my shulker boxes and have a bed and just repair my equipment, you know just to be safe from the elements and everything else. I also got a map in here. This place is getting nuts. I'm thinking about turning all this grass into stone or some sort of gray material too. But yeah, I like it. But as I said, I want to get up here and go ahead and throw the roof on this brick section and then maybe figure out what we can do with these, you know? Why not? I guess we are working on the factory today. This is surprising. Okay, so not all my equipment around here is going to be Industrial Revolution themed. I have a freaking satellite right there, so... <laughs> um, I'm just going to mix it all together because I also have a futuristic lab. Right here, I'm going to build a small little trailer of some sort that's holding up giant floodlights. Just to light up this general area. There we go. There's a little trailer. Um, now on top, we're going to, I guess, maybe do some of these. Maybe throw some observers on the back. Button a lever, bamboo signs. These actually look great, like these stripes on here. Next, we're gonna use bamboo for the light itself. Put an observer, two more bamboo, another observer. And then off these observers, I'm gonna put some sea lanterns. Then I'm gonna use some birch trap doors to cover the sides. How does that look? I liked it in my test world. I kinda like that. We can put them in all kinds of different areas. I tell you what, this factory has always been trial and error. Building with brick in this old industrial style has always been a challenge. Oh great, this one side is going to have to look a little weird. Whatever, I'm over things trying to be <laughs> lining up perfectly and everything. I'm just trying something on the roof here to break up some of the texturing a bit. As you can see, I got stone brick up there. Right here I'm trying to do a little something. Looks odd so far. How does this look? Oh. Turned out better than I thought. This side wasn't even originally supposed to have glass on it. It was just supposed to be blank canvas, but since the town is here, I wanted to make it look pretty, so yeah. Look at this, this place is starting to take shape. This is so cool. Oh, I still need glass over here too. Ugh. Thing is, I, I need to go make a new silk touch pick. I need to go on a huge stone gathering trip because next episode, guys, um, I just got done creating something really cool in my test world. And it's going to be next episode's project, and I am so excited. <laughs> like, I've been excited for a lot of projects in this world, but this one, it just looks so cool. It has something to do with the lab, so stay tuned for that. This room, oh, jeez. <laughs> do you guys even remember? This has a melon farm inside of the hole. The other side, I was supposed to put a pumpkin farm, but I never did. So, I got to figure out a design to put there. Um, this building right here is kind of right here, as you can see, but I can't put that thing on this side because it's just weird over here and I feel like I should tear down this whole wall to combine it with this. This is why I took so long to work on this place. It's just so hard to work on. Okay, work pick three. You're just not cutting it. I need Silk Touch or Fortune. Mainly Silk Touch. What's that? That's what I need. <laughs> Earthbreaker? I don't even remember that. So that means it should probably be fixed. Duh. Yes, I actually put on my elytras again. 
because I am building something way over here and I have to constantly run back to my house for materials and it's just a hassle to run all the way back and forth. I don't care what you say, I can do what I want. <laughs> oh my God, we're running out of netherite. Sweet, only nine levels. Now I need to go gather lots of stone, not only for this, but also for next episode's build as well. Down in the old mine here. Oh, here's some storage. Do I have any stone down here? This is mainly cobble, dang it. I like never mind with so touch. I used to all the time. Not anymore though. Oh, it's a lot of goodies. I'm actually going to mine in my old strip. Oh man, there's a lot of, look at these. Some mine in 2017, 18. Unknown, ooh. Absolutely no reason to put signs down in here, but as years go by, it's just interesting to look back at. It seriously is. Even this one here, look at this. TNT mined. Wow, that is far. Mined 131, 22, oh man. I got quite a few down here. You know what? I'm gonna mine down here again. All right, let's get digging. I am ecstatic right now. It's just like coming across something like just so long ago. I'm on this strip and I actually came across two other things I might show you that I'm just like, holy crap, I remember this. But then I'm just, I just continued mining. I'm like, okay, maybe they don't need to see this. I'm just mining here. I'm like, oh, a random cave. I mined some iron right here, mined some iron over here. And I turn around and come back and I'm like, I thought I placed a piece of terracotta down here for some reason. This is my infamous wood chest I lost years ago. And I can tell because it's the darker version of green and I lost it and I spent forever trying to find it. I was caving one day and I placed it and needed wood. And you know what's funny? I need wood now for torches. <laughs> oh my God. Look at that. I used to put all my wood together in one area. Now I do logs in one. You know what else is funny though? It's like, I don't, I kind of don't want to touch it. Obviously I'm going to take it with me. This is history right here. I might put it in the museum. Woodbox 2. <laughs> I wonder how long ago that was. I couldn't even tell you, to be honest. I'd say maybe three years. I got enough stone for now. This is absolutely not enough for the things we're going to be using it for next episode, but I'm going to head back and kind of show you what else I was talking about. Right here, for example, this is a place... You guys wouldn't really understand this. I think I, this just happened like in the teen episodes. Did I die down here? I don't know. I had a really shocking scare once and an Enderman was chasing me. I was mining diamonds. And I remember this right here. I went and hit up here and blocked myself in. Just an old memory. That one doesn't really matter a whole lot. If you know that mine called the old mine by my nether reactor creation, that's where that leads down to. And then over here, yeah, I found this lava pit. If we mine around it, look, <laughs> those are the old signs of crab. Remember when he asked me to mine down in my diamond mine, he got lost? Then we had to drink a potion, go under some lava, and we found that he survived down here for a while. Poor crab. I wonder how he's doing. God, today is just full of weird coincidences. So it may sound weird, but I watch my older videos sometimes when I'm just kind of working in my world. Gives me ideas and whatnot and what my older ideas were. And the exact... <laughs> Get this, the exact episode I am on is the first time I lost that wood box, and it's episode 333. Sometimes I just lose a certain shulker box that I really need, and all I can do is just run around my world <laughs> aimlessly. Oh man, I lost my wood box. I don't know where it is. This is terrible. Yeah, and look how much worse the lab looks now. Just because of this lighting error, they will never ever fix. Okay, as you can see here by the factory, the roof now looks a little bit better on the map, and that is because we implemented some, well, just air conditioning and different electrical units. Oh, that looks so much better. Oh yeah, I like that. I love the fact that you can do this with these tracks to make it look like fan blades. But yeah, we got some different power circuitry here, um, and then like the main powerhouse bank here. I was thinking right here I could, because this reminded me of it, I was thinking maybe I should turn this into a staircase to get down there, but I might do that right here. If you remember this, we got caves and cliffs. This happened for some reason. I think it detected this as just natural generation. And it turned some of my stone into dirt and this into gravel and that gravel fell. And I kept it here because it looks just like a natural occurrence, like the roof fell in. So I kind of like that. What's this? No. So I feel like I should do something in here now. Um, so the ceiling is very bland. I feel like, yeah, I'll probably put like a circle staircase here to get onto the roof. 
I need to figure out some lighting in here too. I'm probably gonna do some hanging lights with sea lanterns most likely. Yeah, I'm gonna have fun doing that now. These front windows as well, they just look odd. As you can see, I went for a very basic lighting pattern. I was trying too much in my test world. I kept putting trap doors on the sides, replaced the iron bars with chains. I just couldn't come up with something that just looks better than this. This is the best industrial mass lighting I can do. I could probably put signs on the sides as well, but that's just too many signs. There's already too many trap doors going on in here. I like it. And it's like, it's giving off some lighting that I love. This is like the perfect lighting in my opinion. I also play on like 50 brightness. But as you can see, no mobs are spawning down here, which is really surprising. Even in like dark areas like this, they might be able to spawn here. But built a little platform over here to get up to the windows. Um, I'm just gonna put crafting tables and barrels up here. Probably throw some barrels under here too, just for looks. Well, all right, uh, we got a lot done on the factory today. Can this be updated any? But the outer shell of this is basically 100% complete. Yeah. Well, I need some glass. I'm out of glass, though. Um, but if you fly up here, as you can see, I put a little roof on here, and I'm getting this going. Probably gonna put some little smokestacks sticking out here. There's a lot of detail work to be done, but like I said, this place is just, there's so much to be done. Oh. And as you can see on this side, I'm creating an entrance or exit to just come out here. I don't know what's gonna be here. It's just gonna be an extra opening. In here, uh, I dotted some details across the ceiling to make it look like air conditioning, you know. Probably get hot in here. And this little thing up here, do some barrels and crafting tables, some shelves. I actually do use this mass storage if you don't remember. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Dirt, armor, cobble, rotten flesh, just all kinds of stuff. As you know, we still gotta do this as well. It's just a weird eyesore right now. Down here I need to figure out some lighting and what else I'm gonna put in here. You thought I was gonna get it finished. Nope, this place is just too big. <laughs> I'm gonna dabble on some stuff in between episodes, but uh, I'm gonna start preparing, getting blocks for the next build next episode, which I'm excited for. No creepers? Today's comment question of the day comes from ya boy Crafter. Hey Dallas, how would you feel if Minecraft added terracotta and concrete stairs and slabs, maybe fences into Minecraft? Do you, <laughs> that's my, I think that's the thing I'm looking forward to most that I don't even know if they would add. You know, a while back, since they transitioned to this like new way of Minecraft, new engine or something like that. I forgot what it was, but they said they can now add an infinite possibility of different blocks to the game. Why the heck not add <laughs> concrete stairs and slabs? It makes sense. They're a solid block. I, I don't know why they're not in the game already. I don't know about fences though. Maybe kind of like in the wall, not fences. But it, just, it seriously does blow my mind why they don't add that. Maybe they're just milking it and going to add it in a later update or something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but it seems like a feature that should really be in the game because terracotta and concrete is such a popular block, but we're so limited with it because you can't add detail to builds without stairs and slabs. Stairs and slabs are a crucial part to adding detail to a build. Look at these roofs right here. The only way they can get this good looking, at a small scale that is, is because of stairs and slabs. But of course, as the roof gets bigger, you can use solid blocks to create that look. But inside, for example, like areas like this, I would put an upside down stairs right here. Oh, it would just, I'd want it so bad. And to end today's detailed episode, all we did was details really, but I love these type of episodes. Our factory looks so much better now. Uh, I wanna thank the donors, of course such as Steven Smith. Thanks, Steven. I really appreciate it. And Kyle McGee with a massive donation. And he made it on the wall right there. Thank you, Kyle. And you made it into, of course, the donor book where you can become a villager in my world. Speaking of villagers in my world, this next build next episode is going to house quite a few of you guys. I know I'm like really hyping it up, so I hope it turns out good. But uh, I, I just, I, I'm just really looking forward to it, simple as that, so. Now I'm going to get to the process of gathering lots of blocks and smelting lots of blocks. So uh, I'll see you there. Thanks everyone for watching today's episode. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.